guys, it's Dr. Mori, Uncivilized Vitality. I'm gonna do an uncivilized gear review. Uh, and I do have my pistol, and it is clear, safety check, right? So you can see that, that I'm gonna use that to show you the size of some of the different uh, pouches. So we're gonna do a belt pouch or a fanny, pou uh, fanny pack. Uh, quick, quick review, just a kind of a overview. And if you're interested in any of them, leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll bring some more. For reference purposes, this is a Glock uh, 43X, so it's fairly small, and we'll show you how this fits in some of the bags. All right, so we're gonna set that down over here for now. First couple bags we have is, if you don't wanna run a fanny pack, a lot of times we use these. These are pretty popular. This is the Hill People Gear chest rig. This is their snubby size. And this fits where this right on your chest as opposed to around your waist, which is where I've got my uh, Sabota bag now. We'll go over that. And I'll show you some of the things we carry in the bags. So chest rig is good. Hill People Gear also has a snubby sized pack that is just for around your waist as a belt pack. So this is their fanny pack or belt pack, snubby size. So let me show you what I've got and what we'll go over uh, briefly. So we have the Hill People Snubby. I have one made from um, Dyneema from Hyperlite Mountain, Hyperlite Mountain Gear. I have one from Helicon Text. This is the, oh man, I should have looked up the names before I started. That's right. I have one from Mystery Ranch, which it doesn't come with a belt, but it's got a couple of slots on the back where you can thread a belt through, or a couple of uh, PALS Molly type attachments. I have uh, one of my favorites. This is from Spiritus Systems. This is their SAC, their sub-abdominal carry kit. That's their SAC. And this one is from SOE Group. This one's slightly bigger. And this is their um, FUPA. We're not gonna get into that. That's just what they call it. I didn't name it. And we got a few things in here, and I'll show you a bit about each of the bags. And then currently, I am wearing my new favorite, uh, is the Savota. This is a Finnish company, and I, I, I can't remember the model name of this thing. I think it's the Ascari, uh, but this is Savota. I don't know if we can, probably can't zoom on that yeah. camera. Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> All right, so here's what we have, the different bags, and I'll go through these quickly, and any of the bags you wanna see again, a longer video, I can do that. But in my Savota, some of the features on the back is this has the inch, uh, inch wide webbing, and it's sewn in so you can't remove the buckles, just side release buckle. Uh, around the strap. It's got a pass-through slot pocket in the back so you can run another belt or um, hide the uh, hide the waist strap in there. Little um, loop panel on the front for patches. Three pals uh, on the bottom. Uh, pouch attached ladder system so pals or molly and I put some shock cord there and then it's only got one one main pocket. And in there I have my wallet and flashlight, and I keep my basic uh, first aid kit. I have a Mylar blanket, a chest seal, I have some Z-fold gauze, I have a little orange duct tape, a Sharpie marker, I have a small Snake Staff Systems um, EDC tourniquet. And then I have a backup rat tourniquet, which is not something that's recommended by the TCCC uh, committee, but I have it in there just for a uh, secondary backup and I can use the elastic for something else. I also have a pen and I have my spider coat because I had that in there today. And I have an extra magazine for my pistol and I have my signal. What else do we have in here? Oh, we also have some uh, money. Oh, look at that. I'll put that in my pocket. <laughs> Just ignore that. And I have a length of paracord and some earplugs. And normally in my pouches, I also have my sling, but I don't have a sling in this one. So I have all this gear uh, in the pouch. And then um, I'll show you the the pistol fits in there. And you can see this is a Glock uh, 43X. Even with all the gear, it fits right down in there. And just for the purposes of the rest of the video, I don't recommend off-body carry, but if you're uh, going to go in the lake, you need somewhere to put your pistol safely, uh, that you can have that when you're maybe wearing something that doesn't accommodate on the body carry, that's a good place to, to store it temporarily. 
So it fits in there and then you can use one of these Velcro systems to hold that. You can't just put your pistol in there without a trigger guard or a holster. Uh, but there's some different things you can do just for a size comparison so you can see that it fits in there. Now the inside of the Savota, if I turn the bag inside out, the back of the, the pouch against your body has uh, one big slip pocket and I'll use my Leatherman signal so you can see the size of that. That drops right in there. One slip pocket, the whole back of the face of the pouch and then one large elastic and then two smaller elastic loops that are sewn in. On the front side, I have attached a panel. Oh, I always keep 20 bucks behind my Velcro panels. In case you run out of it. The front of the Savota bag has this large loop field and it has two slip pockets, each half the size of the bag. And then two uh, dummy cords, which I just have a little snap lock on there now. Two dummy, dummy <laughs> loops that you can tie a dummy cord to. And I just used a three, a three loop uh, insert panel from Spiritus Systems. I just transferred it into this bag. So that's the Savota. Set that to the side. And I will show you, the next one is the SOE uh, FUPA. This one has a variety of attachment points on the back and it comes with a second set of inch wide cord and these little side release buckles that you can put on and transform that into a chest ring. So it's got multiple carry options. And plus the, the belt loop that goes around. It's got a large inch and a half side release buckle. And then on the other side, I modified that, took the other side release buckle off and put um, one of the first spear uh, tube systems on there because I, I like those better. The inside of the FUPA, besides all the attachment box, uh, points on the outside, the insides where it really stands out is just two large loop fields, no internal organization. It does have some drain holes on the bottom that I just wove some shock cord through. And you can see that I could stick an organizer panel on there any way I wanted. I could put, um, I could orient a holster for my pistol. And again, this is the Glock 43X. You can see how much space that has in there as a chest rig or a belt pouch. Plenty of space in there, but the FUPA is just a big empty bag. I really like it because it's, it, it's a little, it's one of those things where it's got so much space, I end up putting a lot of things in there. All this gear would easily fit in there, right? And you can see compared to the first bag, the Savota, there's the size comparison. The Savota would actually fit right in there completely. So I like this one because it, the small size limits the amount of uh, ADC or EDC stuff I can carry. Whereas this one, I end up overstuffing it with like a full trauma kit, um, a second pistol, all kinds of things. So that's the FUPA. We can go over that if you'd like on another video. Uh, my other almost always my daily carry until I've tried out this new Savota bag is the Spiritus Systems SAC, sub-abdominal carry kit. This has a couple of loops of shock cord on the bottom you can adjust from the inside. The inside, like the SOE FUPA, no internal organization except two loop fields on each side of the bag for which this is perfectly cut. I can put my three loops on there or they sell other inserts like pockets and things or um, holsters for your gun. And the neat addition to this one, unlike well, like the FUPA, unlike the Savota, is it does have that a smaller external pocket. So I can drop in my my flashlight or my signal or my wallet almost fits in there. Right, so I like that outside pocket. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that the FUPA also has one. It's quite a bit bigger. No internal organization, just a big pocket. So I really like this one for outdoors. It's just a little big. This one being small, kind of limited to what I could carry. If I have all that gear stuffed in there, there's no room for my pistol really, but it fits in there by itself if you're gonna use this as a off body carry, which again, I don't recommend. Now, another one that I use on, on our water outings is this Hyperlite Mountain Gear, because it's made of the, the waterproof Dyneema. It has the outer pocket with no organization. 
and has the inside no organization except this one mesh pocket at the back. And this is where my pistol fits, but there's absolutely no loop fields or anything to secure my pistol in there, so this wouldn't be uh, what I'd recommend at all. It's got a little dummy cord for your keys. The neat thing, one of the neat things about this is it's got this little stash pocket in the back where you can slip, uh, I think it's supposed to be for your phone or your papers to hold up against your body and you don't have to unzip to get in there. And it's got a little bit of a pass-through where you can tuck the wings and hide, hide some of the, like the belt, the belt straps if you want to. So this is a neat one. I use this when I'm around the water. I change that out for my daily carry. Uh, an older one is, this is a really great pouch from Helicon Tex. I can't remember what it's called. One inch webbing, side release buckle. And at the other end, it's got a covered uh, G hook so you can undo and remove the belt entirely. And then it has that pass-through pocket similar to um, the other two that I just showed, the Savota. It's got that pass-through pocket. It's got a zippered hidden pocket in the back here for you can stash some cash. Nope, I was hoping there was extra cash in there. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had it out in a while. And then it's got a loop field on the front, a tiny stash pocket on the front with no internal organization. And then the main pouch opens up. It's got quite a bit of organization inside. On the front panel, you have another zippered mesh pouch. Right. And on the panel against your body in the back, it's got a large slip pocket, a couple of smaller slip pockets, and a variety of little uh, webbing loops that you can put your uh, multi-tool or your uh, ink pens in. Right. One plus about the Helicon text I really like, and I wish some of the others would do it, is this sort of rounded shape so it sits on my waist really well and it doesn't get bound up when I'm sitting because it's got that kind of rounded shape. Drawback of course is no loop field with which to secure a holster but if I had a Kydex trigger guard maybe dummy cord that's the bottom you can see the 43X still fits in there pretty well. What I'd like to do is put the features of all these bags together and make one bag but I haven't tackled that with my sewing machine yet. Heal context. This is a new one I picked up. I thought I'd give it a try. It's from Mystery Ranch. It's just an add-on. It's one pocket, no internal organization. It's got a couple of, uh, it's got a dummy loop on the side. It's got two large belt pass-throughs in the back uh, or some, it's Molly compatible so you can more securely attach it to a belt. Uh, this one's good. I usually just keep a few extra things in there like my eyeglasses, my toothbrush and such. So then I can attach it the outside of the bag, or if I need it for a, a possible pouch, I can just run it down my on my belt. Obviously, this is not going to be pistol compatible, but it's cool. And then last but not least is the one I've used for years. This is my Hill People gear. Um, I modded this with a couple extra tabs on there, and I used it as a chest rig before I got my hands on their actual snubby chest rig with the harness. I also use the first spear two block system to modify this as well because I like to I like that better for uh, quick escapes. And we have the full or the large size SAR uh, search and rescue version of this that we use for med kits on our events. So the Hill People gear uh, has got some pals or Molly on the bottom. I put some shock cord. It's got a front slip pocket with two internal pockets, two little organizers in the front. The main compartment zips down. I put a different loop on there too. This is kind of an old pouch. Now on the front panel, two loops for dummy cording. Two more slip pockets that are quite roomy. There's my Leatherman signal. It drops right down inside that pocket. It can go all the way in there. And then on the surface on the back side of the pouch is a loop field, a loop field. But it's also uh, laser cut, so you can get uh, Somali on there. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a six by six grid. So you can put some um, Molly compatible gear there, or you can just attach any kind of Velcro, like my tourniquet or um, a holster for my weapon. And then another feature of the Hill People gear is the third compartment at the back, which is padded somewhat to reduce printing, that is a dedicated pistol compartment. So this goes in the back, it's got a dummy loop in the bottom for tying off a cord for a Kydex 
trigger guard or I could put on this thin strip of Velcro in the middle, I could put that, set my pistol and magazine in that back pouch, zip that up, and now I can still access the things in the rest of my pouch without letting people know right, that I've got a pistol in my pouch. So I've got the good spot for that. So I like the Hill People gear because it fans open. It's got that dedicated pistol pouch, the organizer main panel, and a little extra pocket in the front. And honestly, I usually, I, I try these others out for a while, except for the, the Spirit of Systems sack and this new Savota I'm trying out. I always end up going back to the Hill People gear. Fanny, po uh, fanny pack. Um, and I like the SOE lately if I'm, gonna, if I'm looking for kind of a combination of this one and the chest rig from Hill People Gear. And uh, a good thing you can do with the Hill People Gear, I think I did another video about these. I modified this with the first spear uh, tube system. So instead of a side release buckle, if for whatever reason I was in a hurry to get out of this, I can grab these little tabs here on the tubes and just pull them apart. And it just comes off really quick. And they're really, really strong. I was a little dubious at first, but they were designed for plate carriers and body armor, so you can get out of your uh, your LVE real quick. So I just modified these and put them on for my chest ring. Um, so that's all the, the, the kits that I, I carry and, and cycle through. And if you want to see, currently I'm running the uh, Savota Ascari. And if you want to see a more in-depth uh, review of any of these pouches, leave that in the comments and we'll go back over it. But get yourself a fanny pack or a small day bag or a, a man purse, whatever you want to call it. A pouch is what we usually call it. And then you'll have all your ADC stuff with you at all times that you can set to the side or use as a backup for the things in your pockets. And I usually carry enough gear, my eight basic families of tools, this plus my water bottle, my container, and I'm ready to go. So, um, should we say smash the like button again for Rendell? All right, smash the like button. Uh, um, what else I forgot to say? <laughs> Subscribe, like, yeah, comments, and that's it. Oh yeah, hit the hit the notification bell. Good point, Shane. All right, good deal.